Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Jack of the Castle, where hopefully, quite soon, we won't have to deal with Bunny anymore. Which sounds ominous, <laughs> but that's not precisely what I meant. Sadly. Today seems like a nice day. Right. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning, Jack. Hmm. I was expecting you to be asleep. Do you want to give me a heart attack? Yes. Well, no matter. I didn't need anything from you. Have a nice day. What was that? Are you trying to bully me? Wait, maybe we're friends now? Maybe you just came to say hi? Dag! Trying to figure out this maniac. Today I'm supposed to be cutting the vines. This is the most excellent excuse to accidentally stumble onto the diseased door. I think it's okay now. I'm a full timer. Jack won't just tell me to piss off if I ask about it now, right? Well, I don't know about that. Yikes. Somehow it seems even more ominous now. I slip away the vines, but it doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere. Almost feels like the more I cut, the more it grows. Does that mean if you cut it if you cut it less, it'll grow less? Which means that if you cut it negatively, then it'll shrink. I don't know. <sighs> what are you doing here? Ah! Quiet! Why are you here? I, I'm just cutting some vines. Who just asked me to keep them out of the kitchen. We aren't anywhere near the kitchen. Yeah, but I was just following them, thinking I'd cut the source down. Well, that won't be happening. Save yourself some trouble and focus on the kitchen. Can I ask you something? What? What's up with this door? It is what it is. You don't know either? Ha. You think there is a single thing happening in this castle that I don't know about? Yes. I am the king! Yeah, that doesn't give you- that doesn't give you omniscience. I know everything! Okay, I guess it does then. Sure. Right, of course. <laughs> would you like to go inside? Really? You would, I see. Well, yeah. Fine, but it's a surprise, so close your eyes. <laughs> that rhymes. This is stupid. I keep my eyes closed and I hear Jack opening the lock. What, is he gonna fucking lock me in there or something? <laughs> so he does have the keys, like Bunny guessed. Keep your eyes closed. Jack pulls my hand and I can only assume we're walking in the room. There's a step up here. It would be a lot easier if you'd let me see. Fabric presses against my shut eyes with a lot of force. Do not look. Okay, so it's Jack's hands and his useless oversized sleeves. Here we are. Can I open my eyes now? Sure, go ahead. And what am I gonna see? I would, but his hands prevent that from happening. Isn't it the, the most curious place? Who could have even imagined all the things you'd see in here? Oh. Uh, yep. There's some rid ridiculous roll. Alright then. Sure, let's play along. Ah, uh, yes. This is beyond my wildest dreams. The most wonderful sight. My very own island. Glad you like it. I should have known. Of course it was some stupid game. Well, that's not very, that's not very nice. This is a perfectly uh, decent game. I mean, it's not the greatest. It's no Coffin of Andy and Lele, but Jack in a Castle is a perfectly good game. <laughs> Although I guess it is rather stupid, to be fair. Now that you've seen it, let's head back. We stumble out of the room. Jack's still covering my eyes. I hope your curiosity has been sated. You just 
You just guess. <laughs> I'm glad you do what you're told. Maybe next time I will actually show you. I would hope so. Playtime's over. Get back to work. I continue cutting vines here and there. Inside the castle, outside the castle, uh, beside it, inside out the castle. What's the point? Yeah, but what's the point? They'll just grow back. Can't believe what a jerk Jack is. Really? I can. I wanted to get into that room for what feels like forever. Did I miss my one chance? You did say you would show me next time. All I can do for now is wait. Once the sun sets, I decide to visit Bunny. Dear God. Oh. Hello, hello, my dearest. You just keep on smiling, huh? Yep, unlike you. What's wrong? Jack's giving me some grief is all. Nothing new under the sun, then. But don't feel too bad. We're about to fix it all, you know. Say we, but so far hasn't it all been me? What? Wasn't it me who got the guard in trouble? I guess, but did that really even matter? Alright, Marion, I get that you're in a bad mood. But you really don't need to take it out on me. But it's so fun, though. Sorry, I guess. Though I am honestly wondering if Bunny has been of any use to me at all. <laughs> uh, uh. I said I'm sorry already. It's not that. Goliath has really stopped showing up. For you. That was a short romance. That was my lifeline! My food! Ah, that's right. You haven't eaten anything since the cupcakes. Oh, cupcakes. Or some pasta. Or even a flower. You eat flowers? Yup! I used to do that all the time when I had no money. You can make some real tasty soup out of them. Right. If you say so. I do. My mom kicked me out of the house when I was a kid. When I was kid, rather. So I basically grew up eating nothing but flowers. Yeah, I know how I feel. I grew up eat basically eating nothing but mushrooms. Uh, I thought I was kicked out, mind. And look how well I turned out. <coughs> yes. I should go grab him something from the kitchen. Yeah, I'd hate to see him turn out even more like this. The lights are still on. Who would be here at this hour? Probably that crazy uh, chef lady trying to go on some quiotic mission to show up someone who doesn't even know who she is. <sighs> or Goliathos. Looks like Goliathos has decided to guard the kitchen tonight. Right. Instead of making the rounds, like he should do. Wh who goes there? Oh, it's May. Hey, I woke up a bit hungry. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I, I just, um, blacking off on duty. No, I mean, I'm on a break, but... What's wrong? I'm... I'm conflicted. About what? About fun... Er... Uh, the, the prisoner we caught a while ago. Jack wants to starve him to make him cooperate and... Um... Think it's wrong? Think funny is hot? <laughs> um... Uh... Think it's wrong? Did he get wrong? Yes. He was trespassing, but we don't have any any proof he is part of the rebel group. Like Jack is it is ins is insisting. Jack is the king. We can't go against him. Yes. We should feed the rabbit. Wow, immediately t that was a pretty quick turnaround. <laughs> you think so too? Really? Yeah, I won't say anything. Right, then, then I will. Thank you. He picks some food and takes it to Bunny. 
Good. If it keeps feeding Bunny, I don't have two. And my chances of getting caught are slimmer. I go to sleep. I decided to cut some more vines today, waiting for Jack to pass by. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Mary. Hi there. Need help in the kitchen? Not today, I don't. I'm off to visit my family. So today's dinner is up to the other servants. Oh, okay. Do they need any help in the kitchen? I just wanted to give you a heads up. So you know that today's dinner will be absolute fucking trash compared to the usual. It's gonna taste bad! <laughs> Don't eat it! Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what she's just said. <laughs> oh, I really do have her personality peg. <laughs> Noted. Enjoy your holiday. I will! Take care! Bye! You are a sad, strange little man, Mer uh, Annette, and you have my pity. Chit-chatting on the job, I see. Ah, hello! I was waiting for you. I see, so not working at all. I, well, I was, but I was also waiting. And chatting. Yes. Quite the multitasker. Are you busy? Yes, always, without a doubt. Not too busy to stop and bother me, though. Well, that's one of the things he's busy with. I was just wondering if you're going in that room today. I am. I go every day. Me too? What does that mean, me too? <laughs> no. Can I come too? I suppose. If you must. Yes, thank you. Alright, time to unravel the mysteries of this place. Last time I didn't get to see anything. But this time... At last, I am here, and I can see... There's a toy sleeping on a cozy bed. Riveting stuff. It's... <gasps> on Bombadil! No. <laughs> His Majesty! Yes. Surprise. The king is surrounded by a weird glow. Hi, why is he here? Was he here all this time? You don't look too happy. I thought you wanted to see what's inside. I, I did. Sorry, I just can't wrap my head around what's going on. Why would Jack let me see this? Good question. Isn't this some sort of terrible secret? I'll tell you this much. The king's a little sickly, let's say. He needs to sleep until he is better. What's the sickness? That's private. Do I look like someone who'd share another toy's medical history? Yes. <laughs> no. That's right. Now here's something for you to stare at. What's that? The thing in Jack's hand lights up and brightens the strange glow around the king. This is a dream caster. I use it to keep the king asleep. Well, that's that. This needs to be done every day, otherwise the spell wears off. And then the king won't get better. I see. I am the only one who knows, so I am the only one who can do it. Maybe we should tell others. I'm sure there are doctors who could cure the king faster. Whatever it is that he is sick with. Ah yes, of course you would think that. Ignorance is such bliss. Yeah, I don't know anything. But you do, so maybe you could tell me. That's alright. I only brought you here to see if I could perhaps promote you to a dream caster. You gonna turn me into that little feather thing? <laughs> so if I am unavailable, you can do it in my stead. Sure. I'd say I need to know more, but I already know all this, so sure, if you want me to. Yes, that should be obvious by now. <laughs> that lukewarm response of yours just makes me more sure. You'll do what you're told. That's the kind of toy you are. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder. I already know all this stuff, but I wonder if there'll be a different perspective here. I need to know more first. I don't need to know what I just told you. I am the king. Telling you to take care, uh, telling you to care for the previous king. Do you think you have any say in this? Oh, when you put it like that. Exactly. 
Since that's all settled, let's be on our way. From now on, your work will continue as usual. And when I feel like putting up with you, I'll come to you. Do you understand? We will come here together only when I feel like it. I don't need to be told that. Everything so far has happened according to Jack's whims. I get it. Good. Hopefully, eventually, you can do it by yourself. I'll do my best. Of course you will. Now run along. I'm sure they need you in the kitchen today. Right, thank you. I make most of lunch and dinner today. The other servants, who I don't really know, fumble about, lost without a net. Yeah, that's, a, that's the trouble when you're dealing with, when you have a, a dictator a sort of leader. <laughs> Stamping down on your independence. They need to, they should really have a stage of revolution. Cut off her head, you know? <laughs> she has left over the, left us plenty of notes to follow, but it's still tough. I can only imagine how much harder it would be if the castle has a full staff and a royal family to cater to. It's so busy I almost forgot about the major development in my mission. I know where the king is, and I and why he's been missing. Kind of. Well, kind of know why, <laughs> yeah. I can barely wait to tell Bunny. Hi there, Dolly. I tell Bunny about the king and the dreamcaster Jack is using to keep his majesty asleep. What the heck? That's scum. Huh? The king is sick, my hiney. I bet he just forces the king to sleep so he can be king. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. But now, all we have to do is get rid of the, that dreamcaster and the king awakens. Oh, this can't possibly go horribly wrong. Oh ho ho! Look at you, all assertive. I'm just saying how it works. Yep, our new objective is to rescue the king. But seeing as I'm kind of stuck here, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it on my own. I have to do everything around this house. My lazy wife just sits here all day long, doing nothing. Ah, what are you saying, jerk face? I want a divorce. Not if I divorce you first. I divorced you yesterday. I divorced you before you were born. Oh ho ho! Then I guess we were married in our previous lives too, huh? Great. An eternity with a couch potato. Alright, alright, alright. Enough of that. So then, what's the plan, honey? Waltz right up to Jack, snatch that thing from him, and call it a day? And all his guards will think that's just swell and do nothing. Hey, how are you stuck in here? You figure it out. Sylvester can get you out. Mm, yeah. That's gotta be timed right, or you just alarm everyone. Then, with everyone up all up in arms, you'll never get the Dreamcaster. Well, Jack seems to like me well enough. Oh ho ho! Do you like him too, Dolly? Just saying, in case it's relevant. Yeah. But do you? Funny, this is serious. It's about the king. What about me? Do you like me? Do you? Focus. <laughs> uh, sure, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hmm. What shall I make of that? What about you? Do you like me? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? You sure don't. Anyway. Anyway, if Jack likes you, go ahead and seduce him. Huh? You know, get all cozy, and once he falls asleep... Asleep? Take the trinket from him. Are you seriously telling me to do this right after what we just talked about? Oh, does it bother you? I guess you do like me. Maybe. Maybe again. I just think that was an off-putting thing to suggest. Maybe because I don't like you. Oh. But maybe because I know you can keep it all professional and come back to me. Oh. Oh ho! What could it be? Either way, we've got to wake the king. He will, just not your way. Just let me think about it. Thinking is for Sylvester. Ah! Hide, hide! Greetings, you little pest! Hello, Jackass. 
came up with that one all by yourself. Yep, I've got a lot of time here doing Jack. You're as delightful as ever. Really makes me want to pull your teeth out. I like you too, Jack. We should be together. <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain, Jack. <laughs> I'm going to turn your hands into lucky paws. Oh, how, how am I then supposed to jack off? Enough! I've had it with you. Goliathos! Y yes, sir. This is your one chance to redeem yourself. Beat that thing into a bloody pulp! Ah! No, no, no! I was just kidding! But, but, I, I mean, your majesty, that can't be good. No, it's going to be amazing. B but what if, if his family comes, uh, looking for him, and, uh, and, and I mean, well, the press would print such nasty things about us, and, and... That's right. I'll tell everyone once I'm out of here. Heh. What? What's funny? Bunny rabbit. Who cares what happens to you? Goliath does, clearly. <laughs> huh? I went ahead and learned all I could about you. Aren't you flattered? Such a large family, and yet there isn't a single toy out there looking for you. How heartbreaking is that? Nobody cares. Poor thing. And I mean poor in the most literal sense. Oh, you are so clever, Jackie. That is to say, Goliathos. Go ahead and beat him to death if you'd like. No one is e going to even notice. I don't really think that that's going to help anything. Well, you see, turns out I can't get anywhere with this stupid rabbit. And since he was so worried about the press, we should make sure he never speaks of any of this. Come on, I'm just a little bunny. Well, little bunny, you were trespassing in the royal castle. And after that, you refused to cooperate with us, though we kept asking so nicely. You've made a mockery of the king, and therefore the whole kingdom. For all these awful crimes. I sentence you to death! Ah! Oh crap. Your Majesty! <laughs> That's right! I am the law! I am the law. I should decide on how to do it. Until then, please enjoy your stay. Well. Get me out, Goliathos! I... I can't. Come on, please! You don't want to work on... You don't want to work under that lunatic, right? My family has... has... has always been guarding the king. I can't just... Sure you can, of course you can. Like you gave me food. Just like that. It... It's not the same at all. This is... No! I can't! This is it, Goliathos. We have to escape together. N no, no, I can't. Come on, you can't say that after all I did for you. I thought you loved me. Ugh, I can't. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, crap. What was that about? Shut up, Marion, I'm about to die. This is serious! Oh my god, Marion! That's what you get! <laughs> oh <laughs> That'd be a bit harsh! <laughs> oh my god, bunny. Oh my god! What were you thinking? I wasn't, okay? It was just funny, because Jack kept getting so mad. Yeah, I feel you, man. <laughs> You're so stupid. I know! Help me! Goliathos has the keys, go knock him out and release me! Calm down, I'll help Sylvester break you out tonight. He said he knew a weak spot. Hmm... What if he isn't fast enough? Well, he'll certainly have better chances than me trying to tackle a guard. I don't want to die over this stupid crap. I just wanted to find the king and get some money. <sighs> Do 
to be killed by your own greed and stupidity. Let's go get Sylv, come on! I leave Bunny to mull over his death sentence. I know it's late, but I make my way to town. Quite a few toys are still around. I guess the nightlife is always busy here. Spencer says he lives said he lives near the concert hall. He, he's probably sleeping. No, I guess he I suppose he could be sneaking around the castle too. How am I supposed to Maria? That's convenient. Okay, never mind. Sylvester invites me over to his house. I tell Sylvester that Bunny is about to be executed. <sighs> that is the most troublesome. Yeah. I'm so close to figuring out this whole missing king business. But if Bunny breaks out of prison, Jack's gonna get all agitated and suspicious. And no way can I snoop around then. What do we do now? It can't be helped. Let's leave, it to die. Uh, uh, let's leave him to die. <laughs> it will help Bunny escape and deal with the aftermath. If everything goes well, Jack won't connect you with the escape at all. Okay. Actually, this might be a good time to break Bunny out. It's a quiet night, and Jack is busy scheming Bunny's execution. He's less likely to connect, the do uh, connect you to the escape, since as far as he knows, you don't know about the execution. Let's not do it now. Hmm? Why? We don't know if Jack is actually scheming right now. Well, there's no reason to assume I'm helping Bunny escape, there's no reason not to assume it either. Hmm. How will that situation be any different later? I want to be with Jack during the escape. That way he'll be sure I have nothing to do with it, I think. I see. So tomorrow evening, or during the day if you can manage that. Certainly not during the day. The whole staff is awake. Then tomorrow evening. <sighs> Very well. If you think that it is better, I'll trust your judgment. Thank you. It's early morning. I'm sure Bunny is freaking out in his cell right now. Maybe it's safe to drop by, just for a second. Marion! Shh! Did you find Sylv? Yeah, we'll come rescue you after sunset. That's like a day from now. Marion! Jack's gonna chop, off, chop my head off by then! Don't worry so much. Can I not worry about that? I mean, listen, look, listen. Yes? Ahem, okay, wait. I want to make sure I say this right. Dear Bunny, my precious true love. What? What the crap? Yeah, this is coming, coming out of nowhere. Fear not, because I... <laughs> oh my god, I swear. I'm about to die, and you're just... Because I shall rescue you, my dearest. I can't stand listening to this. Too bad. It continues. No harm will come your way, because it would have to get through me first. Big problem that would be, stupid. Ignore such minor details. You know what I'm saying. I guess. But alright then. Hurry up and save this princess before someone else does. I'm super popular, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. But kidding aside, don't worry. I'm gonna keep Jack busy today, if you know what I mean. Though I know that he can't arrange your execution. Keep him busy, huh? I'm sure you will. As if I'm still trying to steal the Dreamcaster from him. Before saving your sorry butt ruins everything. Then you should definitely- Then you should definitely get busy with him. Not this again. I mean it. Go to bed with him, and then use his Dreamcaster on him to make sure he won't wake up. I won't be jealous. Oh yeah, because that's totally what's keeping me. Oh, but it is, isn't it? No, I... Sylvester rescues me in the evening, and then the king's spell will wear off. We'll tell the king all about our heroic efforts, and collect handsome rewards. Then you and I will get hitched and eat carrot cake. And the king will decide what's the right punishment for Jack. What was that in the middle? Handsome rewards. <laughs> I, don't, 
I don't know about handsome. <sighs> that is such an outrageously stupid plan. What's your plan then, huh? Genius? Just hope for the best? That's what I thought. Good luck getting lucky. Funny. <laughs> this is idiotic. No answer. Yeah, this is idiotic, that's what I've been saying this whole playthrough. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Jack is probably still sleeping. It's pretty early after all. But he can sleep later. We're spending the whole day together whether he likes it or not. Open the door, you stupid... Stupidly beloved king! Your majesty, my shining star! The castle better be on fire, or I won't excuse this kind of awakening. You barge into my room, but I can't barge into yours? I don't think you understand the difference in our status. I see. So kings can barge into wherever they want, whenever they want. That is correct. Now if you're done... Wanna come out and play? That... <laughs> okay. Can I come in? If you know what I mean. No. Get lost. Wait. What do you want? I thought maybe we could go see the king again. Together. Why? This is the spell has to be casted every day. It doesn't have to be the first thing in the morning. And it certainly doesn't have to be with you. I, I know. I'm just worried. Can we go? This isn't a very effective way to convince me. In fact, it's having the exact opposite effect. What should I do then? Probably make breakfast or something. As it's written in your job description. Okay. For a moment, I thought, what should I do then? I thought that Mary was asking Jack what what he should do to convince him. It was just like, that's, that's also not a very great uh, argumentative tactic, asking your opponent uh, how to defeat them. <laughs> Uh, letting me sleep would be a good start, too. I could go cast a spell in your stead. <laughs> Do you think I would give the Dreamcaster to you? Really? Then how about we go after you sleep? Do you go away if I say yes? Yes, I will. Okay, then. No. Huh? I'm wide awake now, so we might as well go. Never knew you could be so needy. Here we are. You must be thrilled. Yes, of course. I really don't think Jack's going to hand me the Dreamcaster. What should I do? Tackle him once he takes it out? He doesn't look too strong. But I'm definitely weaker still. Still, if I catch him by surprise, then maybe. What are you staring at? Huh? Er, it's just... <laughs> Your handsome face. By your handsome face, of course. What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. Let's get this over with. Uh... Bunny would have gotten distracted and played along. <laughs> say, uh, say, Jack, how does the Dreamcaster work exactly? That is for me to know and you to guess. Is this some sort of pre-made spell? Not the best listener, are you? Well, I was guessing. <laughs> Come on. If, if I keep pestering him, he's gonna tell me off. Am I really going to have to resort to Buddy's way of doing it? You seem awfully distracted today. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, I slept pretty badly. I said I didn't sleep at all. Why? I have just the thing for that. Uh, no! I didn't sleep that bad after all! <laughs> Jack cast the spell on the king. I honestly thought he was gonna use it on me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, he's all bark. <sighs> hey Jack? I'm listening. There was another reason I insisted on hanging out. You're not getting a raise. Not that. <laughs> what is it? It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Then why would you tell me? I won't. I'm just saying there is another reason. That's a bit annoying, don't you think? Yup. Doesn't it get under your skin? I'm not playing whatever game it is you're playing. The 
If you say so. Are you busy? Yes. You might have missed it, but I do have a kingdom to run. Actually, I have missed a lot of it. Come again? I'm from the country, so the capital is all new to me. And since that's the center of your kingdom, yes, I have missed it. Just like you missed the point of what I was saying. Yep, sure did. <laughs> I can tell you around if you'd like. Yes, please show me your amazing kingdom, your majesty. I'll have to take at least Goliath out with me if we're going in town. Yeah, that's gonna make things a lot more difficult than necessary. The view from your tower covers most of it, right? I'm starting to think you don't quite like Goliathos. Oh, that's not exactly it. Well, that's fine. We can go to my tower instead. Good. Jack points at various locations, telling me what is what. It's hard to say where exactly he is pointing at, what with his sleeves getting in the way, but I don't really care either way. Koiboxian uh, sure is a great country. Must be lonely running in without a queen. What are you talking about? You, rule, ruling all by your lonesome. I'm not lonesome at all. I would be lonesome if I were you. How fortunate then, that you are not me. <laughs> what? Am I supposed to say something touchy-feely here? All I can say is that I agree. It is fortunate that I'm not you. <laughs> Ah yes, poor me, it is so difficult. I have all the money I could ever ask. So sad. I could ever ask for, you mean. Everything I could ever want at my fingertips. I'm absolutely miserable. And if there's something that I am missing, I'll say, Marion, go fetch it for me. Truly, aren't I a sorrowful being? Yes. And that's exactly wrong. I'm as happy as I can be. But I do miss one thing. What's that? Not having to check everyone's taxes. Right. It's such a pain. Can you even imagine it? The amount of frauds and cheaters is truly mind-boggling. I see. That does sound like a pain. Maybe that's why the king wants to sleep. Don't go there. I stand corrected. You are the happiest toy on earth. So I am. How am I supposed to turn taxes or any of this into something romantic. It's impossible. <laughs> ah, get good, Marion. I've spent many a romantic night ruminating over taxes with my wife. <laughs> oh, do you like the view? As much as I like you. No, not that much, huh? Huh? What? Why would you think that? No reason. Er, uh, anyway, thank you for showing me. I did like it a lot. Yes, yes, of course. I think we wasted enough time for today. I don't. But your thinkings don't matter next to mine. But when I say enough, it is enough. Ah, no, it's now or never. Never! <laughs> Give me help, I can, I can tell this wasn't successful. I'm not gonna make an even bigger fool of myself. In fact, I'm probably lucky this win is the dead. Alright, it's enough. What kind of work are you doing? Maybe I can help. Make up for all the time I took from you. Actually, I have some magnificent things in the planning. Huh? That rabbit that snuck in? I'm having him executed for being so insufferable. That's, that's a bit extreme, don't you think? No, I'm doing the world a huge favor, actually. Believe me, I do. <laughs> How about you help me plan the execution? I do just that. It's a bit morbid to plan the death of my friend. But at the same time, it was his idiotic, moronic plan that made me a complete fool- made me make a complete fool of myself. So take that, bunny. This has far exceeded my expectations. Who knew you were so malicious? Oh, do you like it? Yes. Getting all this prepared will take some time. I was hoping to kill that thing this evening. If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Right you are! If I get right to it, perhaps this can be done tomorrow evening. That's good enough for me. As long as Sylvester helps Bunny escape tonight. I spent the rest of the day with Jack. 
preparing for the execution. I'm nervous and have restless sleep until morning. Is it fine now? Is Bunny safe? What kind of crap am I going to have to deal with once Jack finds out he can't kill Bunny? He can't deal with Jack even on his good days. How am I supposed to deal with him when he's upset? <sighs> what am I going to do about the king? He's just sleeping away. What do I care? I have utmost faith in you. I want you to go work under him as a servant. That way you can uncover what is going on over there. I did what I was supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to. But that's not enough, is it? Not enough or nothing is solved. <laughs> uh... Eh, good enough. Can I just go home now? Master said to figure out what's up. And I did! The rest is up to Master and his intellectual friends. But of course, I can't just take off now. It's my day off, but there's not, there's not really anything for me to do here. I only know my co-workers from the castle, I'm Bunny and Sylvester. I walk to Sylvester's house, hoping Bunny is there too. Marion! Hey, you're alive! Yup! And it's fantastic! I can bathe and eat whenever I want now! Uh, yeah? Do you even understand how great that is? The things you can do, whenever you want to do them. Yeah, I know how you feel. Felt the same way when I got out of jail. Myself. And the food! Whatever, whenever. It's so great! Where's Sylvester? He's out buying me a train ticket. I can't buy it, because who knows if Jack has already announced a search for me. You're leaving? Well, I have to, you know. Because... Because, because now I'm like a criminal escaping a death penalty. So, you know, honey, I'm super dangerous now. Come on, I'm, I'm trying to make you laugh. Uh... Hmm. And I come too? Okay. Hmm. With you, to where, wherever it happens to be where you're heading. Eh, well, I don't know. Why not? I'm not saying no, but I thought you had to do things here. I don't. I only have to do stuff with you. Aha! Uh -huh. What stuff? Who knows? A little this and that. I'll we'll just have to find out. Oh jeez. I guess I have to now. So then, where to? Wherever the wind may take us. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna travel a bit until the dust settles. And then I'll find a nice place where I can grow my own vegetables. So that's so much cheaper than buying them, you know? Sounds good. Hi, Sylv! I see Marion is here too. Yep, we're eloping! Bunny Sil tells Sylvester about our plan. I see. It is a shame Marion won't stay and work within the castle anymore. But if this is what you want, I will not ask, you th ask that you do otherwise. Sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I suppose I am a little relieved. I had my doubts about Bunny traveling alone. Like I'd get lost. I was thinking more in the lines of being caught. But I'm sure it'll be fine with Marion with you. Yep. Marion will take care of me. He is such a man. I make sure to tell Sylvester all I know about the king before we leave. I also write a letter to Master telling him that I'm no longer working in the castle. But also that he should come listen to Sylvester Sound's music here at the capital as soon as possible. Esther will know what I mean. I can't possibly write, a, write about the king in a letter. Me and Bunny put the whole king mess behind us. We settle down in a village I had never even heard of before. And I make us some carrot cake. We're very happy. Alright. That's that, then. We got the ending where we go off and elope with Bunny. Yeah. Ugh, but unfortunately, having to tolerate Bunny, I'll have to tolerate Bunny for a little longer. Because there's still bound to be at least one other ending. I think that. And after that, 
and hopefully two. Uh, hopefully two other endings related to this playthrough, because if, if not, I have no idea where the last ending will be. So yeah, next video will probably be the finale. But... Unless there's some, like, whole super secret ending that... that uh, super secret path that leads to the link of some whole fucking 10 hour long secret playthrough or whatever that I haven't got to, but I doubt that. So, until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.